In this video, we're going to see how to configure a custom mail server in Odoo 17. By default, Odoo comes with a mail server in Odoo SH and Odoo online versions. However, if you wish to configure a custom mail server uh, or if you are hosting Odoo on premise, then you need to configure a custom mail server. So, to configure one, please follow along this video. So, in this video, we're going to uh, use Gmail server. So, to configure one, first we need to go to settings. Then under discuss we need to enable custom mail server, use custom email servers and also we need to uh, enable user gmail server. Save the settings. Then it will ask you for id and secret. Uh, to configure the id and secret uh, you need to go to uh, google cloud console and there you need to create a new project. So I will create a project called I'll just give it a name as Oru and since this is a personal Gmail account I don't need to give a, a location so I'll leave it as no organization I'll click create it's gonna take a bit of time to create uh, this project once it is created then we need to go to OAuth consent screen then we need to sorry I need to switch to the new project which we created then on what consent screen, I need to select the user type. So I will select as external, I will click create. We need to give an app name, I will give it as Odoo. And it will ask you to select the support email, I just a personal email, I just select one of the email. And we can leave all this empty, we need to configure authorized domain. So the authorized domain is going to be odoo.com developer email address we need to give a developer email address I'm just giving one of uh, the email address logic at gmail.com uh, we can skip all this configurations and scope we don't need it and we don't need to add any test users and on summary uh, click on back to dashboard so at the moment it is in testing status we'll leave it as it is and we'll come back to it then we need to go to credentials and we need to create a new credential so this is going to be OAuth client id application type we have to select a web application and then again we need to give it a name we'll give it as Kodu and we need to configure authorized uh, redirect URI so this has to be uh, your Odoo uh, domain in our case this is I'll, I'll grab it from Odoo and we need to add slash google underscore gmail slash confirm you'll find this in Odoo documentation and we need to create the credential so now you need to grab the client id and paste it in order settings under gmail server and we need to copy the client secret paste it under secret save it so now you need to go back to your content screen and you need to publish this application it's confirmed that you wish to product or publish it to production now you can go back to Odoo, then you need to configure an outgoing server. I'll give a name, uh, my gmail and uh, from filtering so you can uh, you know select the users who should able to use this outgoing uh, email server or in fact you can uh, allow uh, users from specific domain to use this email server so in this case I'll just give it as uh, gmail.com so any users with email addresses gmail.com will be allowed to use this custom outgoing email server for the communications authenticate with well, you need to select as gmail OAuth uh, so SMTP server is configured port is configured so now we need to give a username so this is going to be the username of the mailbox user uraj uh, one dot logic dot com uh, not logic sorry at gmail 
gmail.com now we need to click on uh, connect your gmail account so this will redirect you to the OAuth page you need to select the user and don't worry about the warning click on advance and go to order.com and save and click on continue so now you can see that uh, the OAuth connectivity is established and we can see a green flag that gmail token is valid and you can click on test connection so it will give you a success message message connection is successful so now we have successfully configured uh, an outgoing email server uh, in order a custom outgoing email server then you need to uh, repeat the same configuration for same process for incoming email server so we need to create a new incoming mail server so i'll give it as uh, my gmail server type we'll select as gmail OAuth authentication and we we have uh, the server name port ssl dls we are not going to change anything and we need to again give a username this is going to be yuvraj one dot dot logic gmail dot com so now we need to connect to uh, the gmail for auth authentication select the account click on advance and go to order.com and continue so now uh, the auth uh, connection is successful so you can click on test and confirm yeah so now mm, this is confirmed so now your incoming mail server is configured so with this uh, you will able to fetch all the email uh, from uh, this particular mailbox into Odoo and also uh, you'll able to use the custom uh, outgoing server for sending out all the communications from Odoo. So I hope this is useful.